Hello folks, this is Fuzzfinger, welcome back to our Let's Play for SimCity. SimCity 2013 or SimCity 5, whatever you want to call it. Uh, SimCity is the official name. Although that seems to confuse people for some reason because I always find it being called other things over the internet. Before we do anything, we need to demolish some uh, buildings here. At least it said we did, but now that I've got the bulldozer out, I can't see where they are. Uh, it says there's two abandoned buildings. There's one. And there's the other. Is that it? Uh, I believe so. We've got some pretty big factories here now. Look at the size of these things. And yet people are still clamouring for more industrial demand. Uh, I was thinking about sticking a landmark in, but we really need to get a university in the region. And a department of tourism, so we'll be doing that in our next city, which we'll soon to be starting. What I did want to do was help our sewage out. As you can see, things aren't going brilliantly there. We need to sort this out. And big time as well. So I'll plunk that in, but at 40,000 a pop, they're not particularly cheap. And fire keeps going yellow and back to normal, so I really think it's on the border there. But the question is, where are we going to put a nice, shiny new fire station? It's not like we've got a whole lot of room left. I'm thinking kind of around this area. Maybe expand some of these houses then. Uh, we're on 40,000. I've got a feeling it's going to be a little bit more than that. Yep, it's actually 85,000. Should we see if we can take a loan out? Uh, we'll pay that one off. And we'll take a loan of 50,000 out. And that should give us... Ah, yeah, we've got enough now. So where's the fire? A large fire station. We don't want to overtake the hospital, but it can fit nicely. Oh, it's 85,000. I thought it said 80,000. That's okay, we've done it now. And as we can see, a lot of these houses are now upgrading... They like having a fire station next to them. Quite strange if you ask me. But they probably enjoy the sound of the sirens. So we're going to get a little bit more money. Maybe take out another loan and we'll expand this a little bit further. Zone residential. I'd love to zone residential. But you tell me where matey. Because it all looks completely full to me. We've only actually got a little bit of commercial and a little bit of industrial. 90%, well, I'd say about 75% of our city is uh, residential. Anyway, what we do want to look at is changing our, or upgrading our new fire station. Fire dispatch tower, yes please. That will dispatch fire engines faster. Talking of fire engines, I think we're going to need to place a couple more in. But not until we take out another loan. Don't be scared to take loans out. That's one thing I've learnt. They don't actually cost that much, in all honesty. Suppress the risk of fire. That sounds good. And we're out of money once again. Wow, 20,000. Some of this stuff is expensive. And we're not yet approved for Hazmat Garage, which... Garage, shall I say garage? A uh, garage, which uh, basically allows you to put out fires from certain industrial buildings. And we need an international airport or a whatever else it says to get a helipad. We're not there yet. But we've got a nice fire system in place now. And a lot of our residential has upgraded because of it. So even though you delete people's houses, the rest of the houses around the area tend to improve and allow more people in. But I'm thinking we're starting to push the limits on this city now. And that it might be time to move on. What do you guys think? We've got a nice police precinct. Nice fire station. Perhaps we could delete some of the older ones that we've got, but... Actually, they're not actually taking up that much space. I think we'll leave them in. 
More fire patrol, uh, patrols can't really be a bad thing, can it? How's our high school doing? Ah, that's interesting. We haven't actually opened it up to the region yet, since uh, this is the only city, and we've already maxed out the amount of students that we're teaching. So I think we're going to need some more classrooms. And okay, that's cost us everything we've had, and it looks pretty stupid, but it saves space. We can now teach 4,800 students. Very nice. Add a classroom to a grade school. Okay, we've done everything we can now with the high school. Limit reach on everything. Where's our grade school? Uh, soon as how we're going to have students coming over from our other cities, at least I hope that's going to be the case. Where's education? Wow, they keep asking for more zoning, that's just getting annoying, there's nowhere else I can zone. How can they be asking for more police? We've got a police station and a police precinct. Well, we've got 150,000 residents, I think we're going to start expanding now, and we're going to go for a university city, with a possibly a community college, and some other good stuff as well. So if we go to region view, let's see what we've got. We've got the great work site, and oh, we've got two great work sites. We could possibly stick an airport in one once we, oh, we've got three, four even. That's very interesting. I do want to build, perhaps we could build a city here. I know it's not like a massive city. Seeing as how it's a few little islands, but it could be good for University City. That's what I'm thinking. And it's close to our current city, so it would be helpful for people to... Mm, in saying that, actually, the road comes out this side, the avenue. So maybe we should go on this side. We could either go into here, but I don't like the way the terrains are raised there. That would just be annoying. Uh, or into... Traviator Null, which is also pretty close. Uh, yeah, I think we're going to go into Traviator Null, to be honest. We'll claim this. And we can also specialise with ore, which I might just do. Or oil, seeing as how we have an oil power plant. But this is our second city, we're moving on in the world. And as you can see, we are nicely connected to East Fuzz over there by this highway avenue system. A neighbouring city with the Department of Education has earned approval to use higher education schools. That means we can build a university, which is a good thing. And we're going to start this city, I think, in the next uh, episode. So something to look forward to. I've been your host, Fuzzfinger, going for 10 to 15 minute episodes of SimCity each and every day. Please join me tomorrow as we continue this series and see what we do here with Traviata Null, which we'll no doubt be renaming. Something to do with uh, the mayor's name, Fuzz, of course. Uh, thank you very much for joining me. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.